welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's story time. Before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and turn on your post bell notifications. Okay, no rambling, no nothing. We're going to get right into it. This is the time that I was almost a sister wife. Let's just, let's, let's just talk about it. Let's. Because why do stuff like this just always be happening to me? Like, why does can't ha like, I'm pretty sure this do happen to other, it do happen to other people, but like, why do stuff like this be happening to happen to me? Like, what? So, for the sake of this video, we gonna call a guy. Mm, excuse me. We gonna call the guy. Trey. If I used that name before, y'all already know. Completely different situation. We're going to call the guy Trey and we're going to call a girl. Dang, why didn't I think about names before I started recording? Trey and... Y'all know I don't like using like names like plant or water. Like I like to use like a real name. Dude, stop looking at my toes. I'm not into that freaky stuff, bro. Trey and... 2,000 years later. Lex. I don't know. Trey and Lex. Let's just go with that. Okay, so this happened... Do I want to say when this happened? This happened within this year. Not recently. Within the year of 2024 though. Okay, so I was out one night with one of my line sisters and um, we had went to this bar. We was bar hopping. We had went to this bar. If y'all hear noise in the background, y'all nephew don't know how to act. You know, he got to make his presence be known as soon as I hit this record button. So watch he finna go get one of them squeaky toys. Watch he finna go get it. So we out um bar hopping this was like the first bar we had went to whatever and we in there it's deep it's deep mind you i'm single i was like talking to somebody but i'm see like i'm single until somebody give me a girlfriend proposal with the balloons and the roses on the floor and it say like we be like i'm single like yeah we talk but like my nigga i'm single so yeah so I'm I'm not in there choosing, but I'm I'm in there getting getting the eyeful. I'm yeah yeah I am. So we in there, we talking or whatever. We at the bar, some ninjas approach us or whatever, and a guy walk up to me. He like, hey, how you doing? Um, what's your name? Like you know, we just talking. He like, my name Trey. What's yours? I'm like, oh, I'm low. He's like, oh, is that a nickname for like whatever? We just talking. We just talking. So he's like, let me buy y'all a drink. Let me buy y'all a drink. I love the man who walk up to me and offer to buy me a drink. Because, yeah, as you should, yeah. So, brownie points for him. And, mind you, he's fine as hell. The man was fine as hell. He was, like, the type of fine. If you are not new here, y'all know I always tell y'all, like, I, like, I attract super duper fine niggas. But I don't like talking to really, really fine guys because I know y'all finna take me through ringer. Like, I, like... Not medium ugly, but like I need you to wake up sometimes and I look at you and I be like, babe, you kind of funny looking a little bit, but that's okay because you my little, like it's okay. Like I hate like a really, really, really fine, like 10 out of 10. He was like a 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10. That man was beautiful. So I was like, I'm scared of you. I'm scared of you. But boy, if I can't say one thing. If, if I if I if I can say one thing about the the guys who I entertain or talk to or even take serious in a relationship with, if they don't have nothing else in common, I know they are terrible, shitty ass, horrible men. Okay, we're not gonna get into that. We're not gonna get into that. But one thing that they all have in common, they all look good. I know how to pick them when it comes to looks. Now, when it comes to morals and personality and characteristics, we a little, we still working on that. We're not talking about that. I'm talking about looks. Like my track record for the looks is chef's kiss. So, anyways, so 
we just talking or whatever and i'm telling him oh yeah we bar hopping we're not gonna stay at this spot for too long he wanted to stay there because it was like some game on or whatever like it was like a whole that's why it was so many like ninjas in the building because it was like games going on they was watching or whatever so he was like um well i don't know if you feel comfortable like giving me your number so what you got instagram i was like you can have my number or whatever so i give him my number call himself to make sure i gave him the real number so i started laughing like i would not give you a fake number like i don't do that like i would just tell you like i'm not interested i don't do the fake number stuff so he was like okay i just had to make sure i just had to make sure okay so boom that's how me and trey met that night now mind you we not talking long enough for me to be like what's your favorite color did you ever sprain your pinky toe when you were in elementary school do you have any childhood trauma what's your mother's maiden name are you single do you have kids like i didn't get to ask all of it it was just very like oh you cute oh you cute let me buy you a drink oh we finna dip let me get your number before you leave bye i'm gone like that right so we can see right now nothing else happened that night i just wanted to tell y'all how i met Trey. So the next day, because normally if I go out on like a Saturday, that Sunday I'm in the house, I'm cleaning up. I'm trying to just like reset my body for the week that's to come or whatever. So he had FaceTime me and we just sitting on the phone like FaceTime man. He watching me clean up. I got him like propped up. We just talking. So now I'm asking the important questions like, are you single? Do you have kids? Like, what do you do? I'm telling him like, yeah, um, I'm divorced. I don't have like any like living kids. I'm telling him about my son. Like, oh yeah, I had a son. He's in heaven. Like that. Like we just we just talking. And I don't feel like that's too like somebody had told me one time like this girl. You no, know, she was like, I feel like you saying like you have a son. Like it had like when people ask you like, do you have kids? Because technically I do have a child. He's just not on earth. She was like, oh, I feel like that's like too deep to like be telling people why. That's not truth. Like. I still celebrate Mother's Day. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't, you, you're not going to take that away from me. So I'm like, girl, I didn't think I, I don't think I asked you for your opinion, but okay. So anyways, yeah, we just talked. He's like, oh, I'm so sorry. So long story short, just to get to the important part of the conversation, he said verbatim out his mouth, because you got to ask. You have to ask, you have to make sure you dot your I's and cross your T's, especially in this generation, and you're trying to date. You can't just assume just because a nigga walk up to you, he don't got no nothing going on. He don't got no situation. He don't got no old lady. He don't got no wife. He don't got no, like you, no boyfriend. You got to ask. You got to ask. I didn't ask about the boyfriend part, but he didn't give me, like my, he didn't give me those vibes. I should have asked, but if y'all know, if y'all know that one story but anyways whatever i didn't ask whatever so i'm like are you single like do you like where your girlfriend and he was like no i don't have a girlfriend i've been single for like two and a half i think he said like two and a half for three years it was something like that like a long time um and yeah like it just it just wasn't a good situation he told me she cheated on him he told me she cheated on him. He was telling me this whole story. She cheated on him. He found out. He took her back and she cheated again. So I'm just like, oh, is this like your... What did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? Can I have it, please? Thank you. You cannot play with this one, mommy working. Oh, he is so mad. Oh, he is so mad. Go get another toy. I'm like, is this the beginning? Is this like your villain origin? Like, is, is this where you become a villain? Because one thing that I've noticed when guys get cheated on, y'all, any girl that they deal with after the girl who broke their heart or cheated on him or did him dirty or like dogged him out, any girl that he deal with after that, it's like he's trying to get payback. I didn't do anything to you, though. I didn't cheat on you. I didn't cheat on you and then you took me back in and I cheated on you again. I didn't do none of that. I don't have. I don't know nothing about that. Don't treat me that type of way because you like. You know what I'm saying? If you feel me on that, if you can relate to that, if you know what I'm talking about, say something in the comments. But like, just from personal experience, like I don't want to deal with no guy who feel like every guy, every girl that he deal with after that girl is like he trying to get some type of like payback. Who are we paying back? The only payback that I need from this world is my slave reparations. Like, that's the only payback we should, you know, like, okay, so cool. So he was like, no, like, I'm healed from that. Like, I don't have any more. Like, he's just really, like, kicking it to me. So I'm just like, so you don't talk to nobody? Like, what's up? He was like, well, I mean, like, I text people and, like, 
the toxic part of me which i was like talking to somebody too so like it's very hypocritical of me to feel this way but i'm just being honest with y'all if i okay so say i see you like say you a guy and i see you and like we outside like we out in a club or something and i see you and i think you cute and we approach each other or i approach you and i tell you like oh i think you fine i want to get to know you i want to make you mine da, da, da. in my delusional toxic head I be expecting you to drop every single girl that you talk to as soon as you lock eyes with me. Like, every girl that you entertaining should be blocked and deleted out your phone as soon as I approach you. Y'all being stupid. Y'all being stupid, man. I'm not. No. We're not doing that. I'm not joking. Y'all thought I was going to say just kidding. I'm literally so dead ass serious. Like... Anybody that she was entertaining and talking to, but like as soon as I walk in the picture, <laughs> my bad. It's my niece's birthday. My sister just texted me. But um, what was I saying? Yes, you done. Like it's me and you. We finna go get married. We finna start looking at babies. Like I'm real delusional. So like what he said, like he was like texting other people. I know I was like talking to somebody kind of like a little bit at this time too. But like that had kind of like stung a little bit because like what you mean you talking to somebody like why is she even still so I was just like oh okay like how's that going like I'm trying to see like the the um the seriousness of the whole whatever so he was like yeah it's just like really like talking like I'm like do y'all be going out on like look at me trying to get in his business like do y'all be going out on dates do y'all be hunching like what like what's up Mind you, I just met this man last night. So he was like, nah, we ain't never hunched. Like, we don't be going out or nothing like that. Um, we just be, like, we be texting. We talk on the phone. We FaceTime, stuff like that. So I'm just like, oh, so what you just want to, like, start doing that with me? He was like, no, I want to, like, actually, like, take you out. I want to take you out. I want to get to know you. We can go on a date right now if you want to. Like, what you want to do? What you want to do? Like, what you want to eat? Did you eat yet? Like, he really, like, and I'm just like, oh, okay. But he, and he also told me. So the ex, so I was trying to like see like if he like hated his ex or whatever. He told me it's no bad blood between him and his ex, which like I get, cause just like a little side note, like I know I was putting y'all in my business like last week about like the whole situation with me and Devin. With somebody in the comments, like I don't know if she was trolling or not. She might have been for real. Like I'm not trying to be mean or nothing, but somebody was like, "Is this about Devin or did you marry Sean?" Marry Sean? Ah! Are you okay? No, no. When I was saying my ex, my ex is Devin. But I get the whole, you don't want to have beef with somebody that you've been with for like a long time. Because like that's the type of ex-wife that I was trying to be to Devin. Like I don't want to have like, it's not romantic between us no more. But you was like, I thought you was my dog. Like we was supposed to be best friends. Like I don't want to hate you. You not my op. Like nothing. But he want to move like, okay, whatever. Like I'm... Point is, I understood him in that sense. As long as, like, you know the the type of boundaries that you need set now. Like, we're not in a relationship no more, but we cool. Like, I don't hate you, but I don't want to be with you. Like that, right? Like, I understood it, like, from that point of view. Keep that in mind. So, I'm thinking, okay, she did him wrong. She did him dirty, whatever. That's very mature of him to, like, even still, you know, because, like, a lot of guys would be like, no, nah, I hate that bitch. Like, fuck her. Like, no, I'm like, no. He was like, no, like, we was together for a while. You know, like, I'm still cool with, like, she had, like, little brothers or something. Like, I'm still cool with her little brothers. Like, whatever. They still had some type of, I don't want to say, like, relationship, but some type of friendship, I guess, is from what I'm hearing or being told at this point in time some something but it was strictly platonic not romantic he let that be known he was like you can see my phone just i'm just like boy i would never go through another man's phone this day in life or the next like no thank you but i believe you like i i'm the type of person i don't make people like earn my trust like it's like i trust you until you give me a reason or show me a reason for me not to you feel me so that was that 
So, um, he was like, yeah, we can go out on a date. Like, I really want to, like, get to know you. Like, you're so pretty. I like talking to you. Like, I like, he was like, I like your aura. Like, you have, like, a good spirit. Like, I feel like I'm a good judge of character. I'm like, me too. Like, I'm an empath. Like, I I bounce off of, like, energy. Like, good energy. Like, you make me laugh. It's so hard for girls to make me laugh. I've been cheesing on the phone with you since I got on the phone. with Just all of this stuff, right? So, long story short, like I said, we had met that Saturday, that Sunday, we FaceTime me. He came and he took me out. On, he didn't come to my house. I met him. But we went out on a, um, on like a little, it was kind of like late lunch, like early dinner. Like we went to like go get tacos and drinks and like stuff like that. It was real cute. So I'm just like, let me find out like he's stepping. Okay, so this is how me and Trey started like, we could, you could say we was like talking. We was talking. Everything was going so well until it was not. And when I say everything was going well, he would send me flowers. Like, I told him one time, I told him one time, like, he asked me what my favorite flowers were, like, what my favorite, like, combination of flowers were. I told him one time. That man sent flowers to my house the next day. And whenever the flowers would die, he would be like, send me a picture of what the flowers look like. Whenever they were dying, he would send more flowers. Like, real romantic, real, like, open the door, hold my hand, walk on the right side of the uh, street, closest to traffic. He wouldn't let me touch a door. He was a very, very, very romantic. And just a little disclaimer. I said, pro I said proclaimer in my last video. A little disclaimer. Me and him never did nothing we just you know that's it that's all because i haven't like made it up in my head like i don't want to mention nobody that i'm not in a relationship with whatever that didn't last long anyways 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 i'm gonna start talking to y'all like i'm on the membership you cannot i'm sorry the phone scared you you cannot have this playback you cannot have this play He's mad. So what was I saying? Okay, so yeah, we dating or whatever. Uh, we talking on the phone, we FaceTiming. Everything was cool. Everything was good. Now this is where I feel like he might have like got like um this is where I feel like he got like a little sloppy because if you knew the situation that you was in, which like to me it's real confusing because like guys really do be living double lives like I'm, I'm 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 not with him all the time but like if i'm not with him we on facetime we talking on the phone he talking to me while he at work we text him like when did you have like i don't know i don't know because sometimes girls be like there's no way that you didn't know there's no way that you did like i wholeheartedly did not know like i would never deal with a man knowing that he had a situation going on because like i wouldn't do that and i told him i was open with him like i talked to somebody he don't live in this state but like i'm not finna just cut him off like first of all first of all he was here first and i'm not finna like cut him off just because you out here courting me and that, like I'm not doing that like it, it I'm not gonna say every situation is like that because okay whatever it don't matter like I'm just saying like I'm not the type of like put all my eggs in one basket if we not clear um like our intentions with each other like yes you courting me you buying me flowers and you dating me you taking me out you doing all these things thank you so much for that but i'm not one to assume like oh i'm your girl now because we done went on a few dates and you done bought a couple of bouquets of flowers like you know what i'm saying like i'm just and i'm i'm open with you about that like i'm i'm telling him that like yes he, he asking me like oh what's up with old boy like what's up with buddy you still texting him yes Yes, one time we was out, he called me, the other guy called me. <laughs> I didn't answer the phone because I think that would be like a little bit OD, but like, he he's seen the name, like he's seen the name pop up. Like, I don't know if, because he felt some type of way about that, he was cool with doing what he was doing, but mind you, I'm single. I'm not committed to nobody. I'm no longer married to anybody. I'm not in no relationship. Ain't nobody told me I'm committed to you. So I'm expecting you to be committed to me in return. And we are committed to each other. No. I'm out here. I'm young. I'm turn I'm still in my prime. I'm just I'm just having my way. Not with these niggas, but just like it well. 
<laughs> but like no, like I'm just I'm just enjoying life. Like I'm you feel me? So yeah. So what was I saying before all of this? Um oh okay, so I feel like he was getting like a little sloppy with how he was moving because if you knew you had something going on, why would you even be playing like this? This man, mind you, mind you, we like the same age. I think he's like a couple months i can't remember when his birthday was we are the same age he might be like a couple months older than me we're the same age though mind you we ain't did a man crush monday or a woman crush wednesday since we was in high school in 2012 baby we ain't did nothing like that since we was in school we are grown like i'm not saying you can't like be out here flaunting your woman or just showing like but if you know you have some like why would you do this he <laughs> This man thought it was a good idea to wake up on a random Wednesday morning and post me as his woman crush Wednesday and then post, like, tag me on his story. But the way he did the tag, so, I don't know, because I got the notification. I obviously knew I was tagged. I got the notification, but... <clears throat> If you was somebody else, like if you was not me and you just clicked on his story, you would just see my picture. Like, so he did it. So, you know, if you, if you like post a story or something, you want to go tag something or somebody, you can like drag the name out of the, the frame. Like you can drag the name off of the screen where the person will still know that they're tagged, but somebody else can't click on the tag. So how the girl found me, I feel like we could be besties just based off the fact that like you are FBI agent just like me because I have literally identified a girl that a guy that I was talking to was talking to based off her shoulder tattoo that's all I had to go off of I didn't have no name I didn't have no ad I didn't have nothing I identified her off of her shoulder tattoo so the fact that she found me it was giving screenshot my pictures and put it into Google reverse image search and you found me like that or something because there's no way there's no way there's literally no way so um he tagged me or whatever and i remember we was on the phone like he had called me or something and i said like that is so childish like who does that like we're grown he was like i just wanted to admire your beauty like i ain't did a woman crush wednesday since we was in high exactly because don't nobody knew that we're not in high school so whatever i thought it was cute or whatever y'all Y'all thought I was going to say, oh, some days went by, a couple weeks went by, a month went by. Then I thought, y'all, when I say probably like a cool two, three hours went by and then I get this notification. And I just like, I just like, I knew like, like as soon as I seen that, because people don't normally dm me unless it's like one of y'all like reacting to like a story or something and like those go to like my hidden request but it was just something about this notification i just already knew it was given hello barbara this is shirley like i just knew i knew i knew <sighs> so we get off the phone everything good whatever i get the dm request such and such wants to send you a message i almost gave myself a sprained thumb how fast I clicked on that notification and went to that message and when I opened it when I opened it hey girl um I don't know if you know about me or not but Trey and I have been she said dealing with each other Trey and I have been dealing with each other on and off for like the last like it was like four or five years. Let's just say five years to make it even more spicy. Trey and I have been dealing with each other on and off for the last five years. And I thought we were on right now. So to my surprise, I see you on his story. Um, and she, she was just like going on. I'm not going to get into like the whole message because I really don't even remember. I just remember she said like um, the least I can say about him is... Um, he doesn't he doesn't um pick ugly women you're beautiful so i was like like blushing a little bit at the message because like thanks girl like you okay too like i guess but let me stop let me stop let me she was cute she she was all right she was okay she's she was straight um but yeah i just wanted to let you know um what you were getting yourself into um I I asked him about 
what she said like I asked him about it. like I screenshot and I sent it to him I asked him about it and he told me um he was doing it was like promo for something promo mind you this is the picture that he put on his story hold on let me find it Deuce, I'm really just not in the mood, so can you not? This is the picture that he put. Can y'all see that? This is the picture that he put on his story. What's, what, what am I promoting, ass? And I'm not even doing a good job at that. Like, what am I promoting? What's, what's the promo? And it literally said, like, it said the woman crush. Like, why would you believe that? It said like my woman crush was like with like heart eyes. What are we promoting? So this is where stuff starts to get like a little like weird for me. Cause cause girl, okay. Now, I did like Trey. I did like him. We weren't talking long enough for me to have like deep feeling. Like I had feelings for the other guy. Like we were talking for a while. Like, yeah, I was going out to see him. He was flying me out to see him, like all type of stuff. Like I had feelings for him. Lauren, well, if you had feelings for him, like, why would you be talking to somebody? Because, again, I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket. Like, if I'm a date, I'm a date. Unless unless we talk about us dating exclusively or I feel like I just, I don't, like, my feelings are so deep. I don't want, because, like I tell y'all, I don't like having feelings for multiple guys at one time. So, it was getting to that point with the other guy, but it wasn't there yet. And it's just like... I know you out doing your big one, so why would I be over here only entertaining you and you entertaining other people? Like, no, I'm not doing that. So, me and Trey was not talking long enough for me to be so like, oh my gosh, my feelings are hurt. I did feel away, but my feelings are hurt. I'm not heartbroken, like nothing, nothing of the sort, like nothing of the sort. Like, so I don't know if she was expecting me to give her a response of, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. How dare he? How dare he do this to like I don't know if she was like I don't know if she was expecting that but it just didn't give that so she said all of that and I screenshotted it it was no urgency for me to bring this to his attention because like like I said like I like you you cool and everything but do I want this type of like drama in my life right now not really so all I said to her literally and this is how I know she felt some type of way because her response after I said this all I said to her was, oh, okay, thanks for letting me know. And I hearted the message. She writes me back. She was in that chat waiting. She must have thought I was sending her a four-page letter. No, Aaliyah. She immediately wrote me back and she said, that's all? Question mark. What do you mean, that's all? What do you mean, that's all? Deuce, what does she mean, that's all? What you mean, that's all? Yes, that's it. That's all. I'm not finna like what. So I didn't respond. I didn't respond. So I guess she said something to him before I said something to him. So he texted me and he said, Call me. And I sent back hella laughing emojis because, boy, boy, please, boy, please. So he called me and he was like, Man, so I just started laughing because that's like the type of like relationship like we had like everything is just so like come on bro for real like you for real right now like you dead ass like you got this girl messaging me how she even find me like you got this girl messaging me so he was like let me explain let me explain i just kept telling him you don't have nothing to explain like i'm nobody for you to explain nothing to like you don't have to explain nothing to me like you really don't he was like no let me explain let me explain so basically that was the ex Remember how I said, oh, they was still cool. What he failed to mention to me was, and this is everything that he's telling me, which I knew I know to be a lie now, but this is what he's telling me at the time. They still had a, a lighthearted friendship or whatever, but he failed to mention she was still deeply in love with him and she wanted to be back in a relationship with him. He failed to mention that part. You failed to mention that key, that key piece of evidence. You ain't want to mention that to me. So I'm just like, oh, okay, now, like, I get it now. I get it now. I understand now. I get it. Like, I get it. I get it. You, like, he was like, no, like, I just felt like if I told you that you wouldn't want to fuck with Exactly. And my thing about this, like, guys be thinking they real ninjas. 
but a real ninja would tell you what it is and let you decide if you want to mess with him or not not hide the truth or pick and choose what you want to tell me or what you don't want to tell me like a real guy like somebody who who really keeping it pee like he think he keeping it pee i'm gonna tell her everything i thought it was a ghost standing behind me oh my god a, a guy who really like keeping a P, he gonna put everything up, put it all on the flow, put it all on the flow, and then let me decide if I want to deal with you or not. Like, it's not picking and choosing what you tell me, what you don't tell me. Oh, maybe I tell her this, or maybe I leave. Like, no, put everything on the table, and once I know everything, I can decide. Okay, yeah, I'm willing to deal with that, or no, I'm willing to walk. Like, I'm gonna walk away. So whatever, that's neither here nor there. I'm keeping it very like dry surface up because it's just like, did, is this my sign that I need to go put all my eggs in old buddy basket? Because that's what I'm gonna do. Like I'm not gonna be dealing with like I don't want to deal with nobody who dealing with somebody. I don't want to deal with nobody who got somebody out here still feeling some type of way about them, still heartbroken, still got feelings. Like I don't like that because I've been on the other side of that. Like I've been the girl. Like I've been. What did I name her? Oh, I've been Lex. I've been Lex before. Like, I'm not. Nah, I'm not interested. I'm cool. I'm good. You got it. It's all good. So, he like, no, it's not like that. It's not like that. Whatever, whatever. So, I'm just like, all right, we can just talk about this later. Like, I just don't have the mental capacity to deal with this right now. So, it is what it is. Mind you, I never messaged a girl back. She said that's it. Some time had went by. Me and him had been got off the phone. He, she sent me question marks again. She sent me question marks. Not again. She sent me question marks. And then she starts to send me all of these screenshots. All of these screenshots. All of these screenshots. Like, him, just whatever. Like, I'm not going to get into the screenshots. But just know either. Because I've, I've dealt with girls making fake screenshots. So, I'm trying to see. Because he texts, like, a certain type of way. Like, he puts, like, spaces in between, like, punctuation marks. He doesn't capitalize like certain words. He doesn't capitalize the first word of a text. Like I'm trying to see if the way he's texting me matches up with the screenshots, right? Because I'm just thinking like, did she just make these up? Like, did, and they was matching up, and it was giving very much still in a relationship, still want to work stuff out, want to do stuff the right way this time so they can run off into the sunset hand in hand get married and have 50 million kids so i'm just like oh yeah i'm super cool off him at this point i'm super cool so i just text him like i'm good do what you do with lex she can have you whatever whatever boom i cut him off right this is not the end y'all this is not the end this is not the end this is literally not the end so some months had went by like some months some months had went by like three four months had went by i'm doing my own thing i'm dealing with who i'm dealing with i'm still <laughs> i'm still talking to the same guy i'm still talking to the same guy everything cool we still like we not like if this is locked in we like here with it we might be like here we not like locked in though like we not like this like it's just whatever i'm not here to talk about that situation i'm still single i'm doing my thing if somebody texts me i would text them back if somebody called me i would pick up the phone whatever so he hit me on a random night i remember i was in the crib getting drunk <laughs> that sounds so bad i was in the crib just enjoying myself like getting drunk or whatever not, I don't want to say like oh I was just in here getting drunk like I'm an alcoholic or nothing but I was you know yeah I'm just in the house tonight so he called me and I answered on some drunk shit like if I was sober I probably would not have answered but I answered whatever we talking and I'm just like is you single like is you single now is you single cause don't I don't got time for that I don't got time don't don't be calling me if you're not single he assured me up and down I, he y'all Y'all better stop putting stuff on y'all dead grannies. Y'all better stop. If his grandma could have rose up out the dead on the third day like Christ did on Resurrection Sunday. And did a somersault down a grass hill. She would have. How much he was put on my granny. 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 Oh my granny, I don't miss word on. Oh my granny, she done. Oh my granny, we done. Oh my granny, oh my granny. Y'all better stop. Because once your grandma start appearing in your dreams and haunting you because you done put so much stuff on her. Okay. 
Okay, I don't even play like that. So I believe him just off the strength of like, I don't even play like that. So I'm assuming don't nobody else play like that. I would never put nothing on your head. I wouldn't put that on my granny. On you. On you. On the top of your noggin. I wouldn't do that. So I'm thinking, okay, he's serious. So he like, I just couldn't stop thinking about you. Like I've been thinking about you. Um, I thought I was blocked. I can't remember if I blocked him or not. I don't think he was blocked because he called me. Or maybe I unblocked him because I do that sometimes. Like, I start talking to a guy and then I'll block him and then I'll be thinking about him. And then I'll unblock him to see if, like, he still do, like, checkups or, like, whatever. That's so bad. I don't do that no more. But, like, yeah. So, um, he, he was saying he was blocked. So, I had to have, like, randomly unblocked him. And, like, he just, like, the car just went through. Whatever. It don't matter. So, he was like, um... I couldn't stop thinking about you. Like, give me another chance. Like, let me take you out. I'm finna send you flowers. Like, all of this stuff. And mind you, I'm drunk in the crib, y'all. This is not sober low talking. This is drunk low talking. So I'm just like, okay, we could go on a date. We could go on a date. We could go on a date. Where you want to take me? You got to make it up to me. Da da da. Boom. Long story short, fast forward through all of that. Now we back good. Now we back talking. But I'm keeping my eye on him. I'm not like, I'm not like really like take you serious for real. But like, if you want to take me on a date, we can go on a date. Like, that's cool. So, boom, now we back talking, okay? And I done got comfortable. Like, we, t I'm taking pictures on this man phone, all type of stuff. I'm taking pictures of us in the car, like out. I'm taking mirrors, selfies of us, all type of stuff. And I, one day, has said, make this your wallpaper. He did it in front of me. And every other time I see him after that, it was still, because I wanted to see, like, oh, is he going to change it? Like, is it still the same? Like, what he, like, he doing this while he with me, but when he go be with somebody else, he going to change it back to, like, the regular iPhone, like, generic default wallpaper. No, it was me. So, he must have just got sloppy and, like, I don't know, just left his phone screen. I don't know what that man did for y'all. That girl sent me a picture because, mind you, I didn't block her or nothing. Like I said, I just didn't care. I just did not care that much. This is where the sister-wife part come in. She took a picture of his phone. Like, she took a picture of his wallpaper. She sent it to me on IG. Her words verbatim, I wish I still had these messages, but I will never forget this because sometimes, sometimes me and my sister is like, We'll just say, well, obviously, he can't stop messing with you. Like, we'll just blurt out. <laughs> so, she messaged me. And she said, I'm not going anywhere. He's still messing with me. So, he's not going anywhere. And, obviously, he can't stop messing with you. Y'all, I, I kid you not. I kid you not. I kid you not. I kid you not. I wish this was a joke. I wish my life was just, My life is a joke, actually. It is. It's one big comedy show at this point. Um, she said, I'm not going nowhere. He not going nowhere. He obviously can't leave you alone because any other girl would have been gone. Like, any other girl that I caught him with, any other girl he would have been stopped messing with. He obviously can't leave you alone. Literally verbatim, y'all, she said. So we can share him. <laughs> she put a hard eye after that. We can share him. Heart eye emoji. And this is what it was given. This is what it was given. I'm finna tell y'all right now. Hold on. My man is my man is your man. Her is her man too. What are you talking about? We can share him. She basically said, I can have him Monday through Friday and you can have him on the weekend. No, I'm just kidding. I, sw I swear I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's water. It's water. It's just water. It's it's literally just water. Um. If one plus one is two, two plus two is four. And five plus five is ten. Why am I getting thirty-seven? What? Que? 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 She said we can share. 
She meant that with her whole chest. I'm so cool. I, like, I knew I didn't like him for real, for real. Where I just casually called him and I said, I, I called, I FaceTimed him actually. I FaceTimed him. I didn't say anything. I shared my screen. I went right to the DMs. He's reading. You already see the name of the top. You already know. He was like, man, I said, y'all can have each other leave me out of it because I'm not into that. I'm not into that. It was giving very much polyamorous, sister wife, Amish, 10 wives. We all know about each other. I'm just waiting my turn. I said, I'm not into that. And I just hung up on him and I never heard from him ever again. This man still follows me on Instagram, y'all. I just posted a story. <laughs> I posted a story last night. He hearted my story. And this is what I be saying. Like, my life, like, I feel like I got a divorce at, like, the right time. Because, <laughs> oh, oh. That sounded really, really bad. Little disclaimer, I never got married thinking that I would get a divorce. That sounded so bad because I don't believe in divorce and I was trying to break generational curses, y'all. And I just, I didn't. I'm a product of divorce. I like, that's why I know like the next person that I marry, I don't give a damn what we go through. I'm never getting a divorce ever again, bitch. We going to the grave with it. I pry. Pinky. 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 Okay. We going to the grave with it. I, that sounded so but I'm saying like the way this generation is set up like it's comical because like i didn't know what the dating scene was like until i was single again like i like i had no idea i had no idea that guys was really out here just doing a thing and like if you want a membership you already know like y'all know the stories that i be telling y'all like it's crazy it's crazy if you if you want some tea go join the membership go join the membership it's right there the link to do it is right in the description but anyways it's just I was so cool off that man. I said, oh, wow. And you just lied to, like, lied to me for what? Like, you don't have to lie to me. I'm not your girl. You don't got to lie to me. She said, at this point, he can't leave you alone. So, I'm going to just open up the whole relationship. So, I don't feel like I'm getting cheated on. I already know. I already know he got a side girl that I want to be girlfriend number two. It will never give Sean, Olivia, and Shanice. It will never give that. It will never give that. Do I look like this type of bitch? I wouldn't even share a McDonald's fry. Yes, I would. But, like, I'm definitely not sharing my man. Is you cool? So, yeah. That was the time that um, I was offered to be a sister wife. I politely declined. My no response, my lack of response was an answer for her. So, hopefully, she just go, took that hint. She watched my story a little bit. Um every now and then after that i feel like it just like stopped like a couple months ago like a few months ago or whatever but yeah that was the time that um buddy thought he was gonna have his cake and eat it too so i tell y'all i don't like dealing with super duper fine men but somehow somehow they like dealing with me i don't know i and at this point, I just be doing stuff for the plot. I do stuff for the plot because I'm a content creator. And if I don't do stuff for the plot, I'm never going to have no content for y'all. So let's just not look at it as low being dumb. I wasn't dumb in this situation. Sometimes I do be being dumb. I wasn't dumb in this situation. But let's not look at it as low being dumb or low putting herself in bad situations. Let's look at it as, oh my gosh, she is so strong and she is so brave and she is so kind for dealing with this. So she could come back and tell us so I can have a video to watch while I get ready for school and while I drive to work and while I'm on my lunch break. Or while I'm trying to, like, before I go to sleep. Like, a bedtime story. Like, I appreciate her so much for putting herself through that. Just so she could tell me the experience. Because that's why I'm subscribed to her. Because I love the drama. Y'all love the drama. So, perspective. Perspective. Let's just change our perspective. And then it just sounds better. So. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I love you. But you knew that. You knew that. 
If you are not subscribed, go ahead and do so right now. Which why would you not be subscribed? Why would you watch this whole video and not be subscribed and want to come back for more and more and more and more? If you don't do nothing else, if you don't leave me a comment, which I really want you to leave me a comment, but if you don't leave me a comment, at least give this video a thumbs up for me, please. Please turn on your post bell notifications. Again, if you want to join the membership, click the link in the description. And I'm going to see y'all next week for some brand new tea, I guess. I guess. I guess. My man is your man. It's her man, too. It's just so much going on. It's so much going on. <laughs> Bye, y'all.